Hey, welcome back. Today I'm going to dive a little into something I get asked a lot. What is a nutrient dense diet? What does it actually mean to eat nutrient dense whole foods? Let's break it down a little. Let's start with soil. Who would have thought in a million years that we would start here, right? Well, it might be the most important part. Our soil should contain minerals like nitrogen, phosphorus, calcium, magnesium, and a whole bunch of other good stuff. When we place plants into the soil, they pull minerals from the soil, and in turn, they grow and make beautiful flowers and fruits and vegetables. And once they get ripe, we get to feast on them. But what happens when the soil isn't allowed to replenish the minerals that have been used? Well, with sprays and genetic engineering, we can make plants grow, but at the cost of the plant's health and ultimately to our own. See, because of demand, we make our plants grow fast, even out of season. Also, more times than not, we grow the same plant in the same space over and over again, which depletes the soil of minerals. If the plant is unable to absorb minerals it needs, then when we eat it, it doesn't have what our bodies need. Do you see where we're going with this? If we don't feed our plants what they need, they can't feed us what we need, which makes a lot of sad plants and a lot of sad humans. So what is exactly nutrient-dense foods? They're foods that have a high count of vitamins and minerals. Our farmers have let, uh, let the soil rest, planted alternate plants that need different minerals, made sure that the food has nutrients for itself and for us. And what is a whole food? A whole food is an unprocessed food that has had nothing added or taken away meaning that it hasn't been altered. For example, seedless watermelons. Watermelons should have seeds. I know it's a little bit inconvenient, but it's a good inconvenience. So whenever possible, opt for organic whole food. Embrace those seeds. For meats, eggs, dairy, try to purchase grass-fed. I always tell my clients to keep it simple. Foods don't need to get to dressed up to go to a party. Don't drown your salad in dressing or smother your burger in ketchup. Taste those flavors. Enjoy the bursts of tangy and sweet, whatever comes. Okay, that's it for today. I hope that was helpful. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and smash that bell to get notified for my next video. Now, go out there and rule your world. Stay fresh.